Let's now look at the round function, where we can round up or round down to a whole number. Now looking in column A, we've got a list of prices. If I was to go to, let's say, the first price and up to the ribbon, and um, let's say I wanted to dec decrease the decimal that way, click on it twice, it'll round down to a pound. Try the next number, which is £234.56, do the same again, and you'll see it rounds up. So depending on if it's less than five or more than five, Excel will round up or round down depending. Now if you want consistency, and let's say for example you want everything to round down to a whole number, there's a function for that. So what we do is clicking in cell C2, I'm going to type in equals round, oops, round, the options come up for me. I want to round down. I'm going to double click on it. It opens up a, 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 a formula here and it's saying, you know, what number do you want to round down? Well, I want to round down 1.45. By doing a comma, it jumps and it's asking me how do you want it rounded down essentially. So if I don't want any um, decimal places, I want it to be a whole number, I can put in zero. Close the bracket, press enter and here it's rounded down to 1. If I copy that down, everything has been rounded down and I could always just take off these decimal places if I wanted to. Same idea for round up. We're going to do equals, start typing in round. We select round up. We choose our number. We do a comma. We tell it how many digits we want or not. Zero again close the bracket, press enter, copy that down and you'll see that every number in this case has now been rounded up and again I could take off the decimal places. If I wanted it to go to tenths or ten pences I could go and change the zero to a one and you'll see the number's gone from £1.45 rounded up in tens to £1.50. So that is how you can round down and round up. Let's now look at the second example. I'm now in example two, sheet two. Now you might be asked to do a formula, a function, and then apply a round up or round down. In this example, we've got a ticket price and we're going to be discounting the ticket price by 5%. So I'm going to do that first by doing equals, click on the 20, which is A2, and subtract from that the ticket price multiplied by the discount. I am going to F4 that. I'm going to fix it into place. I'm going to turn it into an absolute cell reference so that I can copy down and also in case in case I change the discount um, percentage. Sorry, it should be uh, close the bracket there and press enter. So the £20 ticket becomes 19 I'm going to copy that down and you'll see for some of them there's now pounds and pence. So we want to round up all these numbers with pounds and pence to a whole number. All I need to do is click back in cell C2. Between the equals and the A2, I'm going to start typing in my round function formula. Round up is there. I'm going to double click. It takes me on to number. Well, we've worked out the number. The number is the new price, so we can just skip over that. We get to the end, click on um, do the comma, and then we can type, click in type in, sorry, um, zero, and then we can close that bracket. Press enter. Uh, the first one hasn't actually changed, but as we copy down, you'll see that these whole, these pounds and pence numbers are rounded up to the nearest whole number. And then just to simply finish it off, it just equals the quantity times the new ticket price, which is 665, and copy that down. So that is how you do the round up or round down function within an existing formula.